Now at six in just two and a half hours, you from increasing gas prices to grocery store items, you have probably spent a lot of money week to week these past few months. So the new consumer price index will be released today. Krista Frost is live with what that means for your wallet. Krista. Well, it's important to know how much those groceries and other items cost, right? Because we all need some Frosted Flakes in our life. You're probably pouring some of these at home, maybe for your kids as they get ready for school, right? And so it's important to know how much anything like this could cost. And that's exactly what economists are actually going to be paying attention to as the Consumer Price Index is released later on this morning. They're going to be looking at what is inflation doing right now? Is it still on the rise? Or are we finally seeing a peak point? And what does that mean as we move forward? So again, the Consumer Price Index set to be released at 830 this morning. What that does is really shows us how much those products that we want to buy cost. Now from March of 2021 to March of or 2022, yeah, all full food items, they've gone up 8.8%. Gasoline, of course, we all know that's gone up a lot. 48% in energy. We'll think of heating or cooling your home. That's up 32%. So today we could find out, are these prices finally starting to level out some or will they continue to rise? Now we talk with some drivers in the region who say when it comes to prices, they're really to go wherever if it's going to be cheap. We drove about 10, 10, 12 minutes ish. And yeah, we'll always, I'll always come to Costco and get gas because it's cheaper. So regardless, because we have a gas station right down the road that's two minutes away and I will drive 12 minutes to get cheaper gas. And so obviously paying attention to the consumer price index gives us an idea of how much we're going to be spending. But it's not just that. We also know that leaders at the Federal Reserve are going to be paying attention to those numbers released today. That's because depending on what those numbers are, they might decide to raise interest rates again. That could mean some changes to maybe your credit score, your credit cards, or maybe any sort of loans that you took. So definitely a lot to pay attention to a little later on this morning. But for now, reporting live in Hilliard, Krista Frost, 10TV News.